Uh, I forgot to do this one. So we're going to do the um, the next punch in the series. This boxing series is going to be the the second linear punch is going to be the rear uh, or the the right um, the right straight, the rear straight, the cross, the overhand uh, reverse punch. Martial arts is sometimes called. So we're just going to call it the rear straight. Okay. Because I have a martial art background, I prefer calling it aka also known as a reverse punch uh, you could call it a cross right you call it the the right sometimes people just call it that okay. and um, basically it goes like this so I'm gonna be in my stance I'm slightly bladed I'm hiding down forearms are parallel elbows are pinched in knuckles are on the cheeks the rear punch is going to be thrown uh, remember all punches come from your pelvis not by lunging the pelvis forward like the jab where my pelvis moves forward Okay. The rear punch is going to be thrown by dropping the pelvis. So think of my pelvis as a block, and I'm just sort of dipping it and dropping it to the front. The weight of that pelvis dropping provides the punch uh, its power. It's not twisting the waist. I know that's kind of a misconception. It's dropping that pelvis in a differential way. I'm not dropping it forward like this. I'm dropping one side, which gives a little twist to the pelvis and throws that punch forward. Just like throwing a ball, just a natural motion. The, uh, the rear straight is one of your big hitters. It's one of the black and blue. Uh, I'll explain my color code later. Okay, So I'm in my stance, I drop my pelvis, and the easiest way to remember this is my rear foot. I turn my heel out. So I'm on the ball of my foot, I turn my heel, I throw it to the outside. This will internally rotate my hip, and allow that pelvis to drop. So I throw the heel out, let that pelvis drop. Okay. So the rear comes out like this, I drop that pelvis, and I throw that rear straight. And you notice my body, which is bladed to the front, has to come back almost parallel to the front and throw that punch out. Just like I did with the jab to show you where my thumb is, to show you the angle, the rear is almost always horizontal. You can throw a rear standing fist, kind of kung fu -y. You don't really need to do that. You're going to hit harder and more power. You drop the pelvis and throw that fist straight out so the thumb is parallel. Okay? Just like that. Drop the pelvis, throw that punch. Drop the pelvis, throw that punch. It comes from right here. I don't wind up with it. None of these punches wind up. It comes from here. Drop my pelvis, throw it straight forward. Okay? In martial arts, they punch a lot like this, and people think somehow this has anything to do with the punch. The reason they taught the punch like this is when you're teaching beginners, it gets the other hand out of the way and gives them something to do so you can correct their posture and show them how to throw a proper reverse punch, okay? This hand stays on your face to protect yourself. We get into defensive combos later. You'll see how when you're gonna throw the reverse punch because you've slipped the outside, they're almost always gonna throw a cross in uh, response to that. So that's for later. The rear straight. I'm in my stance. I drop my pelvis, drive that hip and shoulder forward, throw that punch straight out, straight back. Just like that, just like that. From the open side, drop the pelvis, throw it forward. And you can exaggerate that throwing out of the heel until you get the hang of it. From the, oh, the closed side, throw that heel, reverse punch, reverse punch. Don't worry about where the punch is going so far at this point. Just throwing the punch, obviously, unless I'm fighting somebody four foot ten, four foot eleven, uh, or you know little kids, which you shouldn't be fighting. Don't worry about that yet. We'll talk about moving and timing your opponent so when they go to dip or duck and their head's down, they'll put their own head in the way of your fist. Or you can punch them right in the chest. You drop a little lower, reverse punch right in the groin. We'll talk about targeting on a, another video. So the first of the heavy hitters, the rear straight, you can use that jab to set up. And as the jab comes back, you've loaded up. That pelvis, moving it forward, one, and then drop, and throw your reverse punch. So um, next video, we're gonna talk about the hook, 
If you like this series, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe.